Hey creatives, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my art journey. I thought I would do a quick little video introduction to let you know a little bit about me and why I've decided to start this channel. So basically, in a nutshell, at the age of 51, I have decided to go back to pursuing um, my living as a artist after 30 years of not doing any art at all. <laughs> Long story short. So um, I was an artist as a kid. I identified as an artist as, as a child in high school. I was an art student. I loved doing art. And the short version of it is that although I've done a lot of creative jobs in my life, I've done visual merchandising, I've done wardrobe in, in film, I've done um, just lots of fun um, creative stuff. As you get older, you end up getting bogged down by responsibilities. If you have relationships, if you have children, um, you know what I mean. You, you end up being the last priority on your list. What you want to really do ends up being not as important as all the stuff that needs to get done, like working a job you don't like to pay the bills because it affords you the lifestyle that you and your family might need. And so you just keep grinding away, doing things that really are not making your soul happy anymore. So I've got to a point in my life, in my age, and I think when you turn 50, a lot of things change and you start to think about uh, a different life, a different way of living. You start thinking about all the things that you're not doing that you love to do and that you haven't done for a long time and you wonder why are you not doing these things and so I decided that I would like to get back into art and pursue it and see if it's still something that I'm good at um, and to be honest it's something that I would like to pursue um, for a living. I would like to make a living as an artist. That is my ultimate goal. I've always been creative. I've always been a dreamer. I'm very proud of that. I've always had big dreams and crazy ideas and I've always been the crazy one in the bunch that says you know, let's do, let's do this, let's start a business, let's be creative, let's do something fun. And that's always been me. I've always just wanted to be an entrepreneur. I love entrepreneurship. I will talk about it for hours. Um, so part of this, the goal of this channel is to document my journey to get back into being an artist and also an entrepreneur. And I want to talk about a lot of stuff like how am I getting there I want to show you what it is I'm doing to practice to get back into it um, what materials what um, what think what products I'm using um, and then as I grow as an artist and put myself out there on social media this YouTube channel is one of the things that I am planning to, to use obviously to document things with so You'll be seeing hopefully weekly videos. I'm not going to promise. I'm very organic, so I don't like to be necessarily on a schedule. So I will try to download something every week, but it could be twice a week. It could be twice a month. I don't know. <laughs> you'll be surprised. Hit the bell to get notified and subscribe, and then you'll know when I post a new video. And I would love to have you come along and join the community. And I just wanted to like grow a community of people, especially women that are midlife, that are re-evaluating re, um, their life and where they want to be and what's important to them. And I'm hoping maybe I can inspire a few people to maybe do the same. I mean, I don't mean quit your job and be an artist, but I mean to attempt to revisit something that you love to do in the past or something that you've always wanted to try and maybe never have because so much has gotten in the way before. But maybe you find yourself in a place in life now where your kids are grown and you find you don't have as many responsibilities and you want to, you know, start a new chapter basically and a new a new path in life. And I want to show people that it's possible 
and I want to show people what it is that I'm doing and tools I'm using and you know how I'm navigating social media and being like even talking to the camera right now this is all a learning journey so um, I did I took a year off from my job I currently work for the government so like I said as being a creative I, I worked in in retail most of my life I did visual merchandising and merchandise manager I did work in film uh, doing wardrobe for a couple of years before I had my son and then since I had him I had to get realistic jobs that paid the bills and had steady you know schedules and he's now old enough that he doesn't need me so I feel like it's my turn now and I find myself at a point in my life where I've been working for the government it is definitely not anything that feeds my soul in any way it's definitely just a way to pay the bills and it was not something I was interested in so I took a big leap last year um, a lot of big life changes in the last couple of years I did get divorced I bought a house and then I sold my house during the crazy times of COVID um, prices and I took that money I invested it in myself and I took a year off of work now I'm lucky that I work somewhere where I can take a one-year personal leave and still have my job to come back to and so that was kind of the safety net and plan B that I needed but I took the year off to try to like find myself to see what can I do to start my own business to be an entrepreneur what kind of things do I like to do what, what am I capable of doing and so I spent the year basically doing a lot of soul searching working with mentors and coaches all that fun stuff because I wanted to do um, like try coaching and helping people to pursue things that they enjoy like I guess if you want to call it a life coach but I was calling it more of a dream coach where I wanted to help people you know realize their dreams and go for their dreams and know that it's okay to have big dreams and it's never too late to start and so that is something I'm super passionate about so if you are interested in you know all of the, being creative entrepreneurship chasing big dreams any of that stuff I hope that you'll follow me here on this channel and you know come along for the journey and get involved and and grow this community and let's get lots of people you know living their best life and pursuing their dreams and being creative and getting back into art and the things that they love to do and I'm super excited about it and I hope you are too and I don't know what's going to happen down the road. I don't know what it's going to look like. I will share everything that I can. I will probably do a combination of maybe vlog style or else I'll maybe film snippets of what I'm doing. And then I might do some sit down instructional videos. I might sit down and sh like make art with you. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like yet. I'm going to try out different things and you guys can give me feedback and tell me what stuff you like and don't like. And we're going to grow it from there. It's going to be fun and I'm super excited about it to see where this leads and where my art career will lead. And I'm going to be trying all the mediums. Um, what I first started out with is I'm doing gouache and this is a book that I am using to start. And I have been going through this book um, and doing all the tutorials that are in it and with just my little Himi um, jelly gouache box which I will do a video on uh, next and I'll just show like what I've been doing and the stuff I've been doing then what I think about the gouache and I'll just do little videos here and there of all the stuff that I'm trying out I love using procreate and doing digital art on there and I'm learning how to do um, like make patterns and I'm learning how to just use the app in general and draw and create on there and it's been really fun so I'll do a video on procreate and then my other goal is to try to get into I love um, like abstract um, like acrylic on canvas like landscapes and florals and things like that and so I'm challenging myself to do more abstract things because when I was younger I drew a lot of realistic stuff like I was when I was a teenager I was going to be like Robert Bateman and I wanted to draw really really realistic very realistic animals with pencil crayon and that was my thing and I loved doing that um, and I might 
do a video, maybe show my portfolio and all the stuff that I have. I do have some artwork from high school and college, so it might be fun to go like do a little a little video of some of my stuff from the past. And it really has been since I was in college that I've done anything like art based creative. So uh, I'm excited to get back into it now and I hope that you'll join me for this journey and yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you have questions about or that you want to see or that you want me to address and I'm happy to talk about it. So until then, get creative and don't be afraid to dream big. See you later, friends.